Secrets. Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ali, and in this channel we talk about anything and everything fragrance related. Today's video is an exciting one as we're stepping into the heart of fragrance discovery. I will be in Nordstrom flagship store here in New York City for a special pop-up event and it's all in honor of black owned brand in celebration of black history month join me on this fragrance journey as we meet masterminds behind elemental fragrance harlem perfume house of gadon nazar fragrance memoirs fragrances and talia faro i am beyond thrilled to introduce you to these unique houses so without further ado Let's dive into the world of scents and stories. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started! And now we are here, Grace, with her present. Oh my goodness. Miss Travalia, thank you so much for doing this amazing thing of showcasing black owned brand. I'm so happy and privileged to be here and I am so excited to be able to know a lot more black owned brands. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I tried to bring in some of the best that I have in my own personal collection that I've gotten to know the past two or three years. And they said, yeah, I'll come. And so I'm excited to have something to even show you or even sell you today. That's amazing. So just a quick background. How did this thing came up? Well, um, first I had a TikTok person leave a comment asking when I was going to feature more black owned brands. I had no clue that existed. I did my research and I just deep dive into all the perfumers that existed and then i asked my company nordstrom my manager the um store manager at the time could i just do a pop-up event to show other people including my own co-workers mm -hmm. who didn't know that there was such luxurious like very um elevated ele yes very yeah. elevated brands niche brands exactly. indie niche brands and they said yes that's so amazing thank you so much yes. for that and another thing i i kind of want to ask this and it's a personal question yes. i want to know when did your fragrance journey started oh well it was 2009 i just graduated with my masters from niu in uh, in DeKalb, illinois i drove over to um new york city 
I moved to Harlem on the day Michael Jackson died. It's oh. crazy. And um, I, was, I didn't have a job. And I entered into a work program t to uh, get food stamps here in New York City. And you had to go to this program to find a job. And my first job I was able to find was at Sephora. And they only had a position in the uh, fragrance department. Well, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. So that's how everything started. And everything started like that. How about your content creation? How did it start? The pandemic. I wasn't even on Instagram or any of that, never followed any other influencers. It's, I worked for L'Oreal at Saks Fifth Avenue at the time, and they basically sent the register to my house and said, you still have to you stay still. home, you, <laughs> you know, as home. everything yeah. was shut down. And since I have a performance background, mm -hmm. I decided to start performing with the fragrance bottles. And, and that's how it all started. So they could find you in TikTok and Instagram. Yes. Do you also do YouTube? I don't do YouTube. Oh, I have a YouTube right. page, but more for singing. <laughs> oh, you sing as well. well. That's what I have my degrees in, yes. That's so cool. Are you thinking of, because I know a lot of fragrance enthusiasts are so thinking in the future of doing their own fragrances yeah. or collaborating with a brand to do their fragrance. Do we have any of that in the future for Mr. Valia? My followers want it so bad. <laughs> they desperately want me to create a fragrance and I've said I've had no interest in that. I like to bring to life the creations that are already out there, but I'm entertaining the thought a little these okay, days. Okay, so it's not an end all be all. It's, it's not. not yet. Not yet. I, I can't disappoint everybody. <laughs> they see this for my so future, true. so maybe I'm just afraid. Oh, thank you so much yes. for facing us with your time. Do you have yes. any last like words for people who want to get into the black on fragrance um, yes. brands? Um, explore the, the the quality is just as great as every other brand you see in stores. And and I have to say a big thank you to Nordstrom. I really do. They're 15% pledge. They're very serious about it. They allow me, someone that's just a regular salesperson, to be able to learn these brands by them coming inside of the doors. Exactly. So come inside of these doors as well when we do these pop-ups. So one day we don't have to call ourselves a black-owned brand. We could just be a brand that stands on just the that. brand. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay. you. Thank you. Thank you.